Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun playing with my beauty haul. Um, the snow melted, I was able to do a little bit of shopping, a few of my packages showed up, and I have a few new goodies to show you. So I have a new foundation from Laura Mercier. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I was super excited to give this a try. So we're going to be using that on my skin today. I did pick up another beautiful Baby Cheeks blush from Westman Atelier. So I'm going to be using that. I also watched a little tutorial from Lisa J. She's the owner of BK Beauty, where she did a technique that was supposed to be good for more mature eyes and it was using a liner and this Bobbi Brown cream shadow that I have fallen in love with. You guys, I think you might love this color. So I tried to recreate that look using these eye products and then I picked up two new lip products that I have fallen in love with. I have a new Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet in a new color that I'm obsessed with. And then I had to pick up the Dior Maximizer. This one's in Rose Shimmer. Those are my favorite. So I had to pick up a new shade of that. We'll be swatching that as well as finishing the look off with a perfume. I did pick up a travel size of the Killian Apple Brandy. So, so a few of these recommendations have been from Michelle, a subscriber who told me that I absolutely had to try this foundation. She was raving about this perfume that I have almost bought a few different times. So we're just gonna have a little fun playing with this makeup haul today. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, learning a little bit more about these products, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I am so excited because we have several new makeup products to play with today. I did pick up the new Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Um, Michelle, who is a subscriber, had told me that I'm absolutely going to love it and that it is similar to my favorite Chanel number one. Is it Chanel de number one? You know, that Chanel number one. So first I'm going to go ahead and prep my lips with my Dior. This is the Lip Maximizer Serum. And I usually do that before I get on camera, but I forgot. So I always just like to start by prepping my lips. And then I did pick this up in the shade 3C1 Dune. That is what I have been matched to in other Laura Mercier foundations. And I do have to say, I love the new packaging. I think it is really pretty. It's like a frosted glass. The bottle's a little bit rounded. It's just sort of cute. I'm a sucker for packaging. So I kind of like the clean aesthetic of that. Okay, I'm going to read you a little information about this foundation. Today we're just playing. I will do a full review, but I have so many fun goodies that I just kind of want to do a full face. This is $48. So this is described as a weightless foundation that's going to blur the line between makeup and skin with medium buildable coverage waterproof wear and up to 12 hours of fade proof wear. So it's supposed to have medium coverage. It is going to have a natural finish and it is a liquid formula. The highlighted ingredients include some high resolution pigments and 3D smooth priming powder. So that's supposed to kind of perfect your skin, give you a cake free coverage. It has blurring bamboo silk powders and a hydrid and a hydrolipid matrix. It's supposed to give you 
some moisture as well as control shine. And then camellia seed oil, vitamin E, and cacao extract, which are antioxidants, which is going to defend against external stressors. And this is also a vegan formula. So it is a pump and I'm gonna go ahead and pump out this shade to show you. Here is the shade Dune. Let me kinda give you a little. Here's the shade Dune. Uh, I'm not sure now, it looks very kind of orangey here, so. This may not be the right color, but this was what I was matched to in the past. So I'm going to just go ahead and try it. Sometimes what you see on the swatch will blend out differently on the skin. But I have to say, the swatch is scaring me just a bit. But as I'm blending this out, it is kind of melting right into the skin. So. Okay, Dune is described as light medium with cool undertones. And I know I have been matched several different times in the Laura Mercier foundations with this color. And I do think it is working. I do think this might be more like my summer shade versus my winter shade. When I first swatched it, I will admit I was very scared of sort of the oranginess of the foundation, but I kind of recall that being similar to the candlelight one that I had. I also was matched in Dune and um, it tends to just blend in and not be so orangey on my skin. So, so I do feel like I have a bit of a tan on my skin with this foundation, but I do have to say the glow is incredible. Like I love the glow of this and it does not feel like when it says weightless it is literally does not feel like I have anything on my skin um, it does feel hydrating um, it's just really thin in texture and I do find that this one feels a bit lighter like the Chanel number one that I do really love um, it does have camellia oil in it and it doesn't feel heavy but you definitely can feel a little bit of that oil in here whereas I would say this one feels um, truly weightless like it is so thin um, almost I wouldn't say watery but very silky it just kind of absorbed right into my skin it does not feel um, drying it feels hydrating but in this kind of thin light texture so the glow I am loving I think I'm just debating the color so I had to buy this online but they do have soft sand which is 2C2, which is light with cool undertones. It also says there's 2C1, light with cool undertones accru. So when this actually shows up in the store, I think I would like to go and do some swatches, but to be honest, I can already see how this is melding into my skin. It is not really looking orangey or anything like that. So just had a momentary scare with the orange. I am going to pop on a little bit of concealer. I am going to be using my um, Sublimage from Chanel. This is not new, it's just one of my favorites. You use just a very little amount and I'm just gonna kinda come over here. And I love this one because it's so moisturizing. And I'm just gonna 
I'm going to give myself a little highlighting, brightening effect underneath the eyes here. And I'll use my fingertips here. I am so excited because we are no longer snowed in and today is hair day which is like my favorite day I don't know about you but anytime I get my hair done I just feel like a brand new woman and and last time we basically kind of chopped my hair off had fun getting a little bob, which I have been absolutely loving. I'm kind of surprised by how much I love the kind of versatile bob. So we shall see what she does today. Okay, definitely have a glow on with that foundation. I'm gonna move on to eyes, kind of let this kind of sink in, do its thing. I did just pick up the Trish McAvoy. This is her Intense Gel Eyeliner. I used to love the one in Deep Aubergine, and I had watched the adorable Lisa J. She's the owner of BK Beauty. She did sort of a short on like how to wear eyeliner for mature eyes or how to apply it. And of course I had to run out and pick up the products because it just looked right up my alley. She was actually using sort of a soft coal black eyeliner pencil that she kind of put near the lash line. And then she pulled out this Bobbi Brown. This is one of her long wear cream shadow sticks. I thought I had this one, but I didn't. And this one is in golden bronze and it just looks so pretty. Always loved Bobbi Brown shadow sticks. I was a huge Bobbi Brown girl back in the day. I have a feeling many of you were as well, but here is this gorgeous shade. You know that's right up my alley. It's a little bit of a cool toned bronze. And essentially, I thought I would try to recreate what she did. So what Lisa did was she took a soft black liner and she just kind of line the upper lash line and it didn't have to be super precise. Part of the reason I loved this was that she just kind of took this liner. Ooh. These are very like soft, okay? Um, so she put that on and then This is like super soft, guys. And she said it did not have to be precise. You're kind of making a nice, easy, smoky eye. So don't worry if it looks a little crazy. Then she went in with the cream shadow. And put that down here and then we're going to get to smudge it out. I'm playing guys so if this doesn't turn out don't worry we can always fix it. Okay then I'm taking this BK Beauty I believe it's 210 my eyeballs are not the best and we're going to go in and I'm going to soften this near the lash line so I get some definition near the lash so I get some definition near the lash line go here but it's not so intense it's a little smudged out here then I'm taking a fluffy brush here I'm using the um a I'm using the Angie Hot and Flashy um, A503. And then I'm going to just kind of soften that bronze. Ooh. 
I love that bronze color so much. Now, I don't typically wear black eyeliner. I feel like it's a little harsh on my more mature eyes, but I wanted to give this a try. And then she went in with a neutral brown. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one over here. I'm using my Busy Art neutral matte palette, but clearly you can use any sort of brown shade. And I just thought this was like brilliant, like an easy smoky eye in two seconds. And she just kind of used that brown to define the crease. And then she used the Bobbi Brown underneath because the black was going to be a little too harsh, which I actually even think it looks a little too harsh on the upper for myself, but that's just because I don't normally use black. And those Trish McAvoy gel eyeliners are so good, but they are very soft. I have made a mess of them, them in the past, but I also love them because they have this intense pack of pigment and they stay on once you put them on. They're going to stay on all day. So I'm going to go back in with my brush with that concealer on and just clean up a bit over here. But this really makes such an easy, but this really just makes such an easy, like two minute smoky eye. She said the key was that it didn't have to be precise, which was why I was so attracted to it. So what I am gonna do now is I'm just gonna clean up my brows a little bit. I have been using my Precisely My Brow right here, and I'm going to just clean up my brows real quick and put on some mascara. But I have to say that shadow stick is freaking gorgeous. And I really do love this easy smoky eye. My only thought, and I really do love this easy smoky eye. I think for myself, I don't generally wear black, so I'm finding it to be a little bit harsher on my eye. Maybe I should have gotten a charcoal eyeliner. I think I might try doing the same look with Slate from Chantecai. Um, just using the same kind of technique with that shadow stick, but not going with the intense black. We'll see. Once I put on mascara, things will soften down. Okay, slightly cleaned up my brows. I'm going to pop on I'm going to pop on my Chantecai Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara and everything will come together. Okay, we've got mascara on. I'm gonna close my eyes here. And I am so in love with that golden bronze cream shadow stick. So that alone was worth being influenced by Lisa J. She's so adorable. And then when I was at Sephora, they launched Westman Atelier in store. And I picked up one of their cream blushes that I've wanted for a while in the shade Doo Doo. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it is so gorgeous, you guys. It is absolutely stunning. So, you know, most of the time I wear petal. Um, I love Chouchette too, but this color just looked so gorgeous and a bit of a step up. I've been sort of really into blush lately and feeling like I need just a little bit more brightness on the cheeks to kind of liven up my complexion. I actually think that would make a gorgeous lipstick color as well. We might have fun doing a little few lippies here because I've got a new Chanel lipstick. I picked up another one of my favorite lip maximizer in rose shimmer. So we'll try a couple different things. But first I'm going to use my face trace contour here. 
and just do a little contour. Create a little bit of cheekbones here. This is definitely a glowy foundation. And I am, I am absolutely loving that. I'm taking my Heavenly Complexion brush from It Cosmetics. I love to use cream products um, with a synthetic brush. Blend everything together. Okay, just a little bit of warmth on the skin, and then we're gonna use this beautiful blush. Like, I'm so excited about it. Um, it is just a little brighter. I almost bought the Puppette. I don't have that one, but kind of feel like I wanna get that one as well, just for a little pop of color. And I'm trying to go a little higher with my blush, um, just to kind of bring everything upward versus down. So. I am going to, oh, I love this color. It is so good. I will swatch both petal and doo-doo with you. And if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I apologize. Maybe it's dow-dow. This one is petal, a very soft, dusty pink rose. And then here is doo-doo. And this one is a warm rose shade. So this one's a little softer and dustier petal. And then this one's got a little bit more oomph and warmth to it, which I am loving. I think that it really kind of livens up my complexion. So excited about that. And then for highlighter, I think I will pop on Parla today. This one's a little bit of a soft kind of bronze, color here. I love Nectar, which is sort of a perfect glistening peach. I used that the other day, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. This is the Super Lit. These have been kind of my favorite lately. I've just been loving this highlighter. Kind of gives you this really pretty glass skin look, and then I will just kind of pat that in. Okay, I'm gonna set everything with my Westman Atelier pressed powder here. And the actual foundation looks really glowy, but it doesn't feel like greasy or anything. Like it doesn't feel like I need to powder down necessarily. I am going to just set everything. But just so you know, it doesn't, but just so you know, if you're seeing kind of a dew and a glow here, um, it's not feeling like heavy or greasy or anything like that. Okay, then for lips, I've got three different things that I'm just going to put on today. I just feel like this color is going to look so, I just feel like this cheek color is going to look really pretty on the lips. So I'm just going to put this on, show you this can be a multi-purpose product. And I'm just going to dab. Hmm. A little bit of this on my lips. This is super pretty, sort of like the perfect uh, warm rose tone. I tend to gravitate towards those kind of shades. So when I was putting that on, I was like, ooh, I think it would look good on the lips. So just wanted to show you, you can have fun with your makeup. You can use blush on your lips, vice versa. Um, those kind of products, I love any kind of multi-purpose product. So I'll take this off and then I did pick up the Dior Lip Maximizer. Those are like my ultimate favorite ever 
product. Actually, I'll put it on top of this too. I think it'd be really pretty. Um, but this is in the shade Rose Shimmer. I almost picked this up uh, when I first got some of the new ones, but I ended up getting that lavender shade, the holographic lavender one, which I love. But I did almost pick up Rose Shimmer. And so I went ahead and got that because it just looked so pretty. It's screaming spring to me. And I've been a little bit into these pink shades. So I'm first going to top it on top and then I'll show you it without. A little soft pink lip here. Okay, then we'll just put on the Lip Maximizer in Rose Shimmer just by itself. And if you've been watching my channel for a bit of time, you will know this is my favorite product ever. So I own so many of these lip maximizers and they're just perfection for me. I have thinner lips. They actually do plump them. They're super hydrating. They're glossy and I just love all of the colors. And here is Rose Shimmer. And then I did pick up a new lippy from Chanel. I stopped by my friends at the counter and they had a new display of the Rouge Allure Velvets. And this color is number 64, which is this sort of warm plum color. It just looks so pretty. And in general, I tend to go for softer glossier lips but I could not resist this color and this formula is very velvety on the lips it doesn't feel drying but it has some great lasting power so this is the shade number 64 and that is the shade Eternel isn't it gorgeous so pretty so let me put this one on for you I'm going to take my finger here and just sort of dab that into my lips. That's what I like about this formula. It is not drying, but it is going to have some staying power. So you kind of want to get it in place. But I just loved this color for a little bit of a pop. So today I'm wearing a bit more of a smoky eye. I don't think it's over the top though. I think this does work together. Um, but I have been sort of enjoying a little bit more of a clean eye look and then a bolder lip, sort of the French look. Um, having a little bit of fun with that and I just fell in love with this color. I just thought it was so pretty. So a couple different lip options with this eye look. And then I ended up picking up a little travel perfume from Killian. This again is a recommendation from Michelle. She was the one who told me I had to try this foundation. And it was funny because I have almost bought this perfume a couple different times. This is Killian's Apple brandy. It comes in one of these beautiful bottles, kind of the booze collection here. And I had fallen in love with this because it's kind of a fresh apple brandy fragrance. It definitely has a little bit of booze in here, that brandy, but there was this fresh crispness from the apple that I just fell in love with. I actually even thought my husband would like this one, so I'm going to put this on. Mm. I definitely smell a little bit of that brandy there, but this is very like fresh. It's like citrusy. I smell pineapple in here. I know it's got this apple note, but I definitely smell sort of this yummy, fruity sweetness from the pineapple, kind of a little bit of juiciness, I would say. So in the notes, it's got bergamot. So that's always gonna provide a citrusy burst. I love bergamot 
pineapple. I definitely smell the pineapple cardamom so there is some warmth um, there is some booziness here but I don't necessarily love like super boozy fragrances um, and this is not that so there is that kind of warmth in here but if you are somebody who doesn't like want to smell just like you're going to a bar like super boozy um, I think you might like this apple brandy because I would categorize it as more of a fresh, invigorating, zesty fragrance. It smells so good. It's also got a touch of vanilla in here, so there is a little bit of sweetness like from the pineapple, a little crispness from the apple, um, but then it also got some cedar wood in here, so it's got some woodiness. This is just something that I feel like this is just something that I feel like my husband would like. Like if you're somebody who likes Adventus, sort of the little bit of that fresh citrusy um, fragrance, kind of invigorating, but you want a little bit of warmth, like maybe that one's too invigorating. This one might be kind of the happy medium here because I find that Aventus for her is like a little bit too sharp for me, but I'm attracted to sort of that sporty, um, zesty, invigorating kind of freshness from that fragrance. <laughs> so anyhow, I was clearly influenced by Michelle. She was like, you're gonna freaking love this foundation. And she was like, I'm not even a perfume person, but if you haven't smelled this apple brandy, and I was like, oh yeah, I have smelled it so many times. I've almost bought it. So I went ahead and just got the small travel um, and I'm loving it. So wanted to share my little post snow day makeup haul had a little fun shopping this past weekend and what i will do is i will wear this today i will do a full video on this foundation we'll do a full review um, today i'm just playing but actually i have to say as everything has come together i'm not feeling like the color is horrible you guys let me know if you think it's completely off but I feel like it has laid down meshed with my skin and in real life what I would say is yes this is probably verging on more of my summer color but I feel like I can get away with it and I will tell you it makes your skin look really um, very healthy very glowy in person but it does not feel heavy or anything truly truly weightless so I'm gonna wear this take some notes today and then again I will do a full review so I hope you enjoyed this little haul video and thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another video soon.